Good Monday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this October 3rd. Here we go into the month of October already. And uh, after some showers this weekend, especially early Saturday, chilly temperatures, we're going to warm things up over the next few days. And then, of course, we've got Hurricane Matthew. That is a category four, as a uh, category four storm, as I speak. A time check here at 4:54 a.m. Central Time. Let's look at the numbers from yesterday. 74 was the high temperature in Bowling Green at almost 2:30. 76 is the average, so we were just two degrees shy of average. 60 was our low. 54 or 51 actually is the uh, low temperature, the average low, so we were 9 degrees above average. One year ago, we had a high of 61 and a low of 51 back in 2015. No rainfall past 24 hours, even though some of you did see a few sprinkles yesterday. We're looking at a partly sunny day as that upper low that has been sitting here since late last week begins to move away. And uh, still a few clouds around today and a possibility that we could even see a stray or renegade shower this afternoon. But most of you will stay dry and will call for a high of 76 and a northeast wind at 6. Tonight, partly cloudy. There could be some patchy, dense fog late tonight. Got a little bit out there this morning, not a lot, and a low of 55. For Tuesday, A return to mostly sunny skies and a warmer flow will get up to 84 on Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday, mostly sunny and 85. Thursday, sunshine, 85. And then Friday, we begin to see evidence of a fairly strong cold front. But the problem with this front is that it's very moisture-starved, but it will serve two purposes. One... It is going to usher in much cooler air for this coming weekend. And number two, it is going to help steer Hurricane Matthew away from the East Coast. Now, there's still a lot of question as to whether Matthew will make a direct landfall on the East Coast. It's a possibility. Something that, of course, fall breakers are watching very closely because we got a lot of folks out of town, out of school. They're on the East Coast. They're down in Florida. And Matthew could have some impact with some uh, high surf, high winds, rain, just some nasty weather. As I mentioned, it is a strong Category 4 hurricane right now with winds of 130 miles per hour. It is far enough off the eastern seaboard uh, to... You know, not have a direct impact, but certainly uh, folks are going to pick up some high winds and high surf over the next few days on the eastern seaboard. So on Friday, as that cold front comes through, sunshine in 82. uh, If any showers do develop along that front, it would be early Saturday. And then we're going to go from 82 Friday to a high of only 70 on Saturday. Some of you will not make it out of the upper 60s. And then Sunday mostly sunny and only 68 and we could find overnight lows falling into the 40s as we get into saturday night sunday night and monday of next week so a big cool down is coming plus we'll have to watch hurricane matthew over the next several days but relatively speaking here at home this week is going to be pretty quiet but warm All right, that'll do it for the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 AM on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. Later today, if you can, join me for my radio show, a classic hits, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m.